Good evening. So tonight I come home thinking, well, what am I going to do out in the shop today? And the wife says, can you make some of these? I guess you can put them in there. You can hold a picture frame, a little holder. So it's got some hinges on it. So what I did, I said, sure, babe, I can make some of them. So I go out and I trace it on this one by. I'm going to trace it. I'm going to cut it out. And then I'm going to stand it up long ways and cut this board in half. And that's going to be my two pieces to make one. She said, how many can you make? I said, how many do you want? Oh, a couple. Five minutes later, she walks out and says, I need 13 of them. So we're going to do a little cutting on this saw and cut them out. And then we'll go to the bandsaw and uh, make them, make the long ways cut, split them in half and make the two. I don't know if I got enough hinges for 13 of them, but we're going to make as many as we can. I'll record a little bit and turn it off. It's about to get loud. <laughs>
There we are. See, I've taken, I've split this down the, down the side, down the middle here on the bandsaw where I can control it a little bit better. Table saw would kill this thing. Uh, this little saw right here from Rockwell, this was one of the first things I started using. Uh, acts like a bandsaw. It's a jig, basically it's a jigsaw upside down. But you can set a guide on it. You can make ripples, rips with it, cross cuts, any cuts you want. Uh, you can see in that video, it gets kind of jumpy a little bit. Uh, but that's it. That's how I'm going to make these. I got 12 more to go to cut out. And I got to cut them all. And uh, sand them down a little bit. Maybe plane them out if they've got some curve to them. Just want to let y'all know what we're doing tonight out here at b and uh, Creation Shop. And uh, y'all come follow us. Tell your friends to follow us. Have a good night. Okay, touch up on that last video. Here I got this piece cut out. We're going to split it with the uh, bandsaw. And I'll show you how that comes apart. Okay, so once I get all this cut out, this is what the finished product gonna kind of look like. We'll take a, well, we'll take a hinge if I don't drop it. And basically, the hinge, you open it up. It's gonna stand about like that. You put your picture frame in it. Just wanted to kind of do a real quick video to show y'all the second part of this, uh, how I split it in two. What I'll probably do is take and try to run these through the planer. Hopefully they're not too thin or too brittle to, to break. Uh, we're gonna to try to get them down good and even plane. Uh, fix any little miscuts or whatnot. So that's the second part of this video. Just wanted to kind of show y'all what I was talking about in the first one. Have a good night. Okay, so now that we finished this, what I was cutting out tonight, I'll show you what it's for. So you got the hinges now. These hinges I got are too big for it. You can see the screw sticking through. So I got to get smaller hinges. But this is the concept. And that's that. So these are handmade, hand cut out. Uh, CNC machine or a routing machine that would do it itself would be a lot easier. Uh, a lot faster but the wife and I we like our handmade look and uh, this is a farm table probably about two years old that I made for us so anyways that's what we've been working on tonight we'll uh, get some smaller hinges some smaller screws and uh, get it fixed up